irresistible creature who has an insatiable love for the dead. Okay, so starting out this look, I'm going to have to glue down my eyebrows because I am creating uh, Tiffany's very thin eyebrows. So I'm just using the glue stick and working that back and forth and then using a spoolie brush to make sure that I have everything going out in the direction from which it grows to make sure that everything is flush to my face. Then I am covering that with a layer of powder. So I do this a couple different times. I probably did about three to four layers to make sure that everything was exactly how I wanted it. Next I'm taking a very thick concealer and just going over top of my brows to make sure that I'm concealing as much of the hair as I can. I used a darker salmon color to kind of uh, cancel out my dark brows and I'm just blending that out around the edges. Then I'm going to go back with powder. Powder is going to be your very, very best friend in this whole situation with the brows. Next I'm going to take a lighter concealer and I'm just going to go over that just because my skin is so fair and Tiffany's skin is fair. We don't want it to be too orange or too salmon colored and I'm just again blending out those edges. When you look like an alien, you know that you've done it right. So next I'm going to take my foundation. I'm using the lightest one that I have, and I'm just tapping this into my skin, especially around the places where I have tried to conceal my brows. I'm just kind of rubbing it in at first and then dabbing as I go. I did a couple layers of this as well until I got the coverage that I was looking for. Then comes the fun part, drawing in these little tiny eyebrows. I'm starting with the tail end first to make sure that I don't get too thick at the very beginning. And I start going in from the inside corner to match up to the tail. This was really hard because I usually wear my brows a lot thicker. And to kind of keep them that smaller size was tricky. Also, the concealer with the powder, I had to go over it a couple different times to make sure that there weren't any light spots. To give myself a more doll-like effect, I am contouring my cheekbones to give my cheeks a very rounded look. Um, I kind of didn't want to go crazy on the contour, but I did do it around the cheeks like I'm doing right now, and then I also did it on the sides of my nose to kind of give more of a dummy kind of doll ventriloquist type look, if you will. Also, she has a really dark spot where her cupid's bow is, so I just kind of filled that in. And then I also did a little bit of light contouring on the forehead. I did a little tiny bit of contouring on my nose as well, since she has a very small nose. But again, I didn't want to go crazy on this either, so I'm just very, very lightly doing that. For eyeshadow, I'm starting out with a plum color and just working this into my crease. Um, I started out with purple because she doesn't have just a straight black smoky eye. She does have some of the purple tones, so that's why I started with this one first. And then I also smudged that underneath of my eye just to give it a little bit of depth and to smoke it out. Then I'm going in with the black on the center of my eyelid and working out. I didn't want to go crazy on the black because I wanted it to still be able to see the purple, so I'm just kind of marrying the two together here, making sure that everything is nice and even. Going in with eyeliner, I'm doing a black pencil on the bottom waterline, and then I'm using a black liquid liner on the top just to give a nice simple line. Adding a little bit of mascara, I'm doing this right before I apply my false eyelashes. She does have a little mole, and since I'm looking in the mirror, this is on the opposite side, but when you're out of the mirror, it'll be on the right side. Then I'm using a black lipstick and just, you know, lining my lips with that. <laughs> Once I have my makeup how I like it, it is time for my wig. So I got this from the Halloween store. It's just a platinum wig. And Tiffany has some roots, so I actually went in with hairspray and some eyeshadow and just smudged some roots in the top so it wasn't so 
bleach blonde at the roots. So this is the final look. This is my Tiffany from the Bride of Chucky movie. And I hope that you guys liked it, maybe learned a thing or two. If you would, please subscribe and let me know your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.